Scott Jackson, who's a sports journalist here in Washington, D.C. Scott, really appreciate you being with us. Thanks. Uh, Scott, when you take a look at, at the list of attendees, you know, you have every big current and former NBA player in that room. What does that say about Bryant's legacy? Well, I just think it shows you the impact of the, of the people he, he made on. You know, I mean, it wasn't just NBA players, a lot of Hollywood people there as well, coaches, you know, uh, ex-players, not just young players that came up behind him, but even former players that were, you know, never were even close to the same generation. Guys like Bill Russell there and obviously Jerry West who drafted him or made the trade for him, excuse me, on the draft. And it just, it shows you what, what Kobe Bryant meant to all those people, how he respected the game and how he gave it his all and how they really enjoyed watching him compete. And they also knew Kobe the person as well. One of the stories that I really enjoyed hearing was from Shaquille O'Neal, and he's talking about how uh, Kobe was refusing to pass yeah. the ball, and he told the guys, he's like, I'll go, get, I'll go talk to Kobe, and he says, hey, Kobe, there's no I in <laughs> team, and Kobe says, well, there is an M-E, yeah. uh, and he said, uh, he made a quip about, you know, all right, I'll tell, I'll tell the guys to get the rebound. He's not passing. Um, I guess, you know, when you look at sort of what example has Kobe set, you know, for, for future players, not just when it comes to competitiveness uh, and dedication, but also just a, a sportsmanship? Well, I think he had, a, he had a crazy work ethic, and they talked about even in retirement, right? Like he wins an Oscar, you know, just a few years out of retirement and how he attacked that. He attacked the, the girls' basketball, you know, the Mamba Academy, which had the girls' basketball team for his daughter and how passionate he was about that. Michael Jordan talked about how he would text him all hours of the night asking him about moves that how did he work on him as a young kid because he's trying to work it on with his daughter and things like that. He just put 100% into everything he did, and it wasn't just when he was a player. And I think a lot of people wondered, like, when Kobe Bryant leaves basketball, oh, my goodness, what's he going to do? He needs that competitive fire. He needs something to do. Well, he found it in every little thing he did in his life. Absolutely. It's really hard to imagine what the Bryant family is going through right now, uh, particularly his wife, Vanessa, who's a very private person and shared a lot of intimate details about her relationship with her husband and the relationship that she had with her daughter. What do you, why do you think that she's made the decision to file this wrongful death lawsuit against the helicopter company that was involved in the crash? Yeah, that, that's interesting. I saw that today, obviously, as, as it comes out. I'm, I'm like a lot of people just trying to figure out, you know, what was behind it. I mean, look, you, you read the stories, you know, the LAPD was grounded that day. There were a lot of people that were grounded. Uh, you hear stories that Kobe Bryant wasn't a, wasn't a guy that was pushy with his pilot to say, hey, do this, or to tell them how to kind of go about their business. So, you know, maybe it's just uh, the fact that she feels like, she, obviously, two very important people have been taken from her, and it was a, a pilot error, and she just wants to uh, make sure this doesn't happen again. Um, last but not least, can you just, uh, your thoughts on the memorial and any oh. particular moment that struck you? Well, I mean, I think it was amazing. I mean, it was put together, you know, like, incredibly with all the different speakers, but obviously Vanessa Bryant, I mean, to think about, put yourself in her shoes for a second, how you would go through that and finish that. You're not just, you know, eulogizing one person, you're eulogizing two people that obviously meant a very, you know, a lot to you. It's incredible how she handled that as well as she did today. I thought she was obviously the big story out of it. And obviously Michael Jordan too, I think. Uh, I saw a lot of reaction to that. That was probably the most heartfelt thing Michael Jordan has ever done, you know, in his entire, his entire lifetime. It was incredible how he kind of poured himself out there today. But I, I thought Vanessa Bryant obviously was the number one story today out of this. Scott Jackson, really great to have you with us. Thanks, Thanks for coming on.